What is your name? Petra. Petra, you're Hungarian? Yes. My name is Anthony. Anthony. <laughs> <laughs> really? Like for it me, it sounds. Very good. For me, it sounds like this. Yes. No. no. That doesn't sound like know, to me. Nowadays. One of the things that may discourage you is you can never control your results with women. You'll never be able to control it. And this is something that's very discouraging to any man who listens to this because one of the greatest efforts that a man goes through is how can I just control my results? How can I control that when I go out this much, I'll get this much return back? How can I be able to go out there, be myself, and just have this work? That's one of the things that men strive for over and over. And I have to tell you that you'll never be able to truly control it. And why do I say truly control it with this kind of iffiness? It's because you do have some influence though. You have influence over the results, but you'll never have control. And the more you focus on being influential to the woman, the better the results. I see you abusing your dog, and I just wanted to come say hello to you. I'm just kidding, you're not abusing him, but I think you look very cute. Okay. And I was like, she's over here playing with her dog, and I just want to come say hello to her. Okay. He's Dio. DM? Dio. Dio. And what is your name? Petra. Petra, you're Hungarian? Yes. My name is Anthony. Anthony? Where are you? Right now, are you sitting somewhere? Or? No, I was, I was walking past here. Yeah, and I seen you over here doing like this. And I even saw you try to do this so much you fell back on your ass. Okay. Yeah. Oh. No, Kiram Stefan Dio man. Dio is a, is a boy name, yeah? Yeah. Yeah. Do you love dogs or do you just love do you love animals? animals yeah and this is your friend here yeah, yeah. Hey. hello Hi. yeah are you from the UK Hello. you sound like it where are you originally from uh, Ghana and Hungary Ghana and Hungary you can't be from two places you're only born in one place I'm born in the UK, I'm from, originally I guess the Caribbean, but you can, you can call me American I guess. American, yeah. Americanized. Yes, Americanized, you can say that. What are you doing here in Hungary? I am, well I live here. Oh, you live here? Yeah. How, how long? Since when? Since 2014. Well, the first time I came here, it was because I had a friend living here, mm -hmm. and uh, I didn't, actually didn't know anything about Budapest, to be honest with you. And then when I came here, I was so fucking shocked that it was just so different than America. Yeah. Like, like so different, not a little bit, but completely. <laughs> like the way the people are and the way it looks, yeah. the food, everything but is different. You come from America? Chicago. Oh, what is this little cool thing? I've never seen this actually. Huh? I've never seen this. Yeah. This is funny. <laughs> yeah, it is. <laughs> and like, how, in what sense is like, I mean, I know it's different from the buildings and stuff and like the city. The way the people are too, yeah? How, in what way? Like the people here, they are much more able to show you what they're feeling than yeah. in America where it's like polite and 
you never know until you meet the person. Until the person is not in the setting that yeah. forces them to be like polite, yeah. which is like work or at a party or through a friend. Yeah. But when you get to know them, you start to understand they're like, you know what, I fucking hate this. And then you're like, really? You kind of get shocked a little bit. Yeah, I hear people are pretty much like, what's on their mind is really on their lips. Open. If they're openly assholes, then they're at least openly assholes. You always know where you stand with people, yeah, I guess. Oh, I like that so much. Yeah, sometimes it's annoying. <laughs> sometimes I wish at least, like, in a work setting, they'd be polite, but, you know. Yeah. It, it's cool. It's refreshing. Definitely. Petra, what are you like? I came over here to meet you. What are you like? What I like. What are you like? Are you a... Ah, what I am like. What I'm, I am like? I sound so Very Hungarian, nice. so lovely, so <laughs> Hungarian. What I am like? <laughs> I don't know what I am like. <laughs> She's my best friend. Yeah? <laughs> so she, she knows that too. Well, she'll, just, she'll say from her point of view, so you can tell me from your point of view. Yeah, but she knows me. Very you know you. Better yeah, than she does, true. yeah. Uh, what I am? <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's start with something very simple. What do you do? Sorry, do you know? No, what is this? It's an um, auditing company. Yeah, auditing advisory company. Do you like doing this? It sounds like something that you just don't, something that no one would like doing. No one, what? It's, do you like doing this? Yes. Right. You do like doing it. Yeah, so tell me what it's like since you like doing it. I have no clue what this job is like. Audit is when, um, yes. Really? <laughs> like for it me, it sounds, very good. for me, it sounds like this. Yes. No, no. That doesn't sound you like know, to me. Nowadays, most of the people goes, for example, in a big company for accounting or call center or things like this. Yeah. But this is not boring or something because you have a group, you have to do things, you know, it's mm. interesting and uh, you have to have energy and everything. It's good. Okay, well, obviously you like it. Mm -hmm. it. It doesn't sound like, I'm thinking about the old formal like, yeah, so we're trying to prove to you that this, but it's not like very formal no, like that. Oh, okay. not that we have to go to the, it's complicated, but it's very interesting. And you have to uh, show a lot of parts of you. So you have to use a lot of parts of you, mm -hmm. like communicating, um, leading uh, a team, uh, a little bit your brain. Mm -hmm. so, yeah. A little bit your brain? No, a lot of <laughs> your brain too. So it's yeah. good. And what do you like? What do you do? Um, I am someone who travels and works, and I help people what? who are trying to understand more about themselves. Ah, so that's how the question comes. <laughs> life coach. No, not a life coach. More like a teacher of helping people. <laughs> that's the best description I can give because I have my own business so I have I can give it whatever description I want but let's say on paper I give it life coach but it's more than that though for me and, and how, for them how do you do this how do I do what help people I mean how uh, um, a session like well it depends on if it's in person or online uh, if it's an in-person session, which is much better, uh, I usually am able to locate exactly what's going on with the person internally and to show them the opposite. So but let's say a person struggles with expression, I can locate why and then show them the opposite of that, which is coming out or something like that. Yeah. So do you like do you have a lot of clients here? No, Hungarian? not Hungarian, no, it's because no. it costs too much. It would, it's people from around Europe, mainly, I would say, German, US, Australian, like this. But did you learn 
psychology too, or you don't have to? Uh, no, psychology is not needed to learn it. She's sad? Mm -hmm. I'm not sad, I'm annoyed, rather, and a bit hungry, so... Annoyed and hungry. So that means they're gonna... Can I talk to her for like one more minute? Because we've been enjoying this. Where are you going? And eat? Yeah. Yeah, you're like, you must be that. Do you get, do you get the thing called hangry? Yeah, no. The reason why I bring this to your attention is because Thinking about control versus influence will change the way that you operate in this area of life. With the results being so unpredictable, truly being so unpredictable, you can never depend on control. Never. And in life, actually, you can never depend on control itself. Because control means constraint of what is. You can't depend on it. Of course, some people may say have more self-control and things like this. There's connotations to it. But let's think about in this area with women, you'll never be able to control the results that are happening. You can go out there and do hundreds of approaches, literally hundreds. Or you can go out there and do a few. And different things will happen. What's crazy is, is you can do hundreds and get little results sometimes. Or you can do a few, which means tens, and get more. This is the craziness of it because it's so unpredictable. And that's something I've started to see over time is that why do I ever want to try to control this? Like this is insane. Why do I ever want to? I know that by going out a lot and speaking to women, I'm going to get mixed results always. I'm never going to get all the way through no or all the way through yes. It's never going to be like that. It's going to be a mix. And because there is a mix and I never know what the mix is going to be like, why ever want to control that mix? It is simply and always will be outside of my control. Simply and always will be. But what is something that I can't control? And that is my level of influence. So I want you to think about it in this sense. You want to be more influential than controlling. If we had to put them together. Because influential means it's based on you. And what you do. Controlling means that is based on the results. So you want to think of it as, I want more influence than I would want control. Because I'll never be able to control, so why would I want so much control? But I absolutely, moment to moment, can control how influential I am. And this is what I have to see for myself, is that I am actually influential to the women that I meet based on how much I show my, myself to her. Based on how much I'm following my attention, persisting, showing her what's going on inside of me moment to moment, revealing myself, being able to find out things about her. This whole process has a lot to do with influence. And the more and more you're able to show yourself, the more influence you'll have with the woman. So what can I leave you with? Focus on showing more of that which you are. And what does that mean? Focus on being there more presently. Focus on following your intention all the way through. Focus on things that you can control 
and you will have more influence. And with more influence means the girl can feel something from you. And when the girl can feel something from you, now she wants to see you again. So that means that flakes decrease. And when flakes decrease, the amount of women who come into your life increases. This is beautiful and this is the way. The way is no longer trying to control results like most men do. Most men get used to it, just like I did. Why am I going out so much and nothing's happening? Why am I doing this and nothing's happening? I mean, I'm getting all these numbers and I go, yeah, man, everything is happening like that, but you're, it's all about what's going on when you're there with her. To leave you off with a story, a student comes to me and he's trying to figure out why is he getting so many flakes. And at the various times that they do come to me with this question, I go, okay, well, I want to listen in, man, because this is usually in the beginning. And I listen in and I go, well, you didn't tell the girl anything about you. So why would she want to go on a date with someone she knows nothing about? Okay. I listen in to another student. I'm like, man, you're constantly talking and you're not living in enough space. It's just pleasancy the whole time, just one feeling while you're in there. There's no variation. So how do you expect a woman to feel something by your presence? And I may listen to another student and he's talking about things he doesn't care about. He's asking questions that he actually doesn't care about. And then he goes, well, what's happening? I just don't figure out, I don't know why the women aren't getting back to me. And I go, well, why are you asking stuff you don't care about? Why did you ask that question? Well, because, you know, I'm, I guess I'm trying to get to know her. I'm like, even in the way you're saying that, you're not really trying to get to know her because getting to know a woman is more energetically than it is the surface level. It's more than the verbal. So his level of influence is very low. And he's confused. He's like, I just want to get more results. And I go, forget the results. Focus on being more influential while you're there, which means showing yourself more. Being able to be impactful as a person while you're in front of her. The most impactful thing is not going to be, what do you do? Uh, why do you do that? Oh, that's great or not? Qualifying? No, this is not actually the most powerful thing to do. The most powerful thing that's going to have an effect on a woman is who you are and how you express yourself because that is always energetic. And through that energetic feel, she's going to be like, she's going to feel good or not. And she's going to go from good feeling or bad feeling. Not registering. She may register, but it's going to be mainly based on, do I feel good? And if she does, she'll go with it. She'll want to see you. Not guaranteed. I don't care. Even me, someone who's very expressed, is still not guaranteed for me, for the women I approach. Still not guaranteed. But at least I have more of a chance, though. And it's because of who I am, not what I do. That's the difference. So if you want to know more about this, I have my Budapest gathering coming up, my seminar. It's August 4th, and this is for anyone who wants to learn more about themselves in relation to women. If you want to learn more about yourself in relation to women, and just more about yourself, this is the thing for you. I have a free Meet the Bedroom series. Everything from hello to, hey, when you want to go upstairs? Everything from that. Of course, I don't talk about the texting. That's just something you'll have to learn from me in person. But it's a very easy, simple guide that can help you. Below in the description box is both. I have one spot left for the whole year for coaching. And that's in Chicago in December, which is quite cold. So you have to be a hard fucker to do it. Probably somebody from the Midwest, to be honest with you. If you want to know more about that, you can write me on my contact page on my website, theessenceofmen.com, or you can just write me at tonysolo at theessenceofmen.com. And like I always say, who you are is valuable for that which you want in life and in relation to women. It's just realizing it.
I'll talk to you in a few days.